The early days of the AIDS crisis was a very unusual time um, for hospice. Uh, it was a tough time. It was a tough time particularly for those patients and their families and friends. AIDS was very stigmatized, and not a lot of people wanted to take care of AIDS patients. We did not know how the disease was contracted. So when I was hired to work with this group of patients, again, the care was very different. They didn't want to hold the hand of an AIDS patient. They didn't want to stroke their hair. You know, when, we, when they said a prayer, they didn't want to touch the patient on the shoulder because they were afraid. There weren't a lot of doctors that took care of AIDS patients. Um, there wasn't a lot of treatment. So our patients were, they would come on and they would, their length of stay was short because they would die relatively soon. But the ability to provide for them whatever would help their life become easier and give them better quality of life and symptom control is the way we managed it. We were the only hospice, the only hospice in Miami to take on these patients, specialized teams, teams that did nothing but care for AIDS patients. And we learned so much about what they needed. We had some amazing staff that really understood. It was a tremendous feeling of satisfaction that our caregivers got. Um, many of our caregivers were in um, communities that had lots of friends and family who had HIV AIDS and a lot of people didn't have a home. Uh, a lot of people lived under viaducts, especially here in Dade County. We had a lot of people who lived on the street. A lot of people with HIV AIDS were living on the street at the time because other places wouldn't allow them to live there. You know, the address was we'd meet them under the bridge at a certain time of day and, you know, the whole team uh, the aide, the chaplain, the social worker, you know, we'd make our appointment times to meet the patient where the patient was.